Marcus or Marcus Ram, and we are out in Colorado for a co-park survey. Co-park has this really cool event that they put on um, a couple times a year, but definitely this one in southeastern Colorado. I saw it last year on Instagram, Facebook, the whole thing. I was like, I gotta go the next year. So I'm out here for this co-park survey. Last night we went road cruising, found a ton of snakes. So I'm gonna take you guys there first. Today we are hiking. It's like 95 degrees, probably plus. Um, it's way up there. So we're gonna hike for a little bit and then go cruising later tonight and hopefully find some more lifers. Let's get straight to it. All right, so out here looking for snakes. And the first snake we see, we actually found a shed right on the piece of rock there. And then uh, Don spotted this guy. And uh, it's actually a dead prairie rattlesnake. Not sure what exactly happened here. Its mouth is kind of gaped open and it looks fairly fresh. Um, so there's a couple ideas that we have. It could just, it could just be that it's not eating. There's not water up here. Um, and it just died of like heat exhaustion. But um, first herp, I guess, of Colorado is a dead prairie rattlesnake. It's about, I don't know, a foot and a half long or so and a very green individual. We're gonna put this guy, um, or actually we're just gonna leave this guy here and then uh, hopefully we can find some more stuff. Good first snake though. So just flipped that perfect rock right there. We got this shed, which has some bands on it. And so the only one that I'm thinking of is probably a Western milk snake. So it would have been really cool, but it's like 95 degrees out here and there's no way a snake would be under that rock. But at one point there was a Western milk snake under it. So pretty cool. All right, first snake. We got a prairie rattlesnake, finally a live snake. We had a prairie rattlesnake earlier today, but it was a dead one. First live snake of the night. And we've only been on the road for like five minutes now. So pretty cool. This guy's fairly small, not as good looking as the one from earlier, but first live snake of the day. Here's a top down look at this guy. Got some green to it. Next to that penny, just a tiny black neck and was not expecting this at all. Um, so a really good find, especially for this area, not too common. This is Caden's, what, like third, third ever? Yeah. My like fifth, sixth ever, somewhere around there, and Marcus's lifer, but such a cool snake that we were not expecting at all, and I've definitely not seen a smaller black neck. All right, so second snake of the night, we got a black neck garter snake, another lifer for me. Never seen one before, and these guys say it is a really cool find. And this is about the smallest garter you could ever see. You can see some really cool patterning there. It's got some orange that's coming out right there on the neck. Really cool looking snake. Hopefully we can find some more cool stuff uh, later on tonight. All right, so Caden is holding this Woodhouse Toad. Another lifer for me, of course. Kind of looks like a red spotted, but it's got some cool green, a little bit of red to it. And that is a huge toad, by the way. But first amphibian on the road, let's go find some more snakes. All right, so here is our second live prairie rattlesnake of the night. Definitely a pretty big one. See it's flicking its tongue there, checking us out. Not even rattling though. These guys are supposed to be, you know, super feisty as they're telling me over here, but this guy is super chilled out. Really cool looking snake. A uh, good third live snake of the night. Hopefully we can find some more. All right, I'm gonna take a video here. Of it flicking its tongue if it flicks its tongue here. More snake. All right, another life for me, the Texas horned lizard. My second ever species of horned lizard. Pretty, pretty dang cool. This guy's a little bit smaller, but another friend of Soma. They were kind of a more unique find considering it's dark and nighttime about. All right, lifer bull snake. This is the third and last Pituophis genus that I have had to see. So I've now seen pine snake, gopher snake, and bull snake. So pretty cool accomplishment for me. Um, little small guy here, and this is like the fifth live snake. Um, a lot of good snakes so far. It's only like 11 o'clock. We got a lot more to see. Cool snake to find though. Video five. Sitting right there is a prairie rattlesnake. Double stop in the ambush. So yeah, double stop. The classic double stop. With fossorials, but it ends up being a prairie rattlesnake. So here's another look at this big. 
bull snake. Very similar to gopher snakes that we have seen. But you can see right around the neck area, the patterning is just a little bit different. But like that face shape, everything about it, it just screams gopher snake. But it's a bull snake. All right, so second species of garter. This is a plains garter. Looks similar to the last one, but a lot more cool orange there. Man, that's a cool looking garter actually. A lot bigger than the last one too. All right, seventh species, or seventh actually snake of the night is a tantilla here. I haven't seen a tantilla in like a year, maybe even two. Pretty cool find, it's got a really cool red stomach there as well. Uh, things are starting to pop though. We're gonna find some really cool snakes soon. is a lion snake these guys are a lot smaller than i thought they were like you guys told me they were like 10 inches these guys are like very small i thought they were like garter snake size that's hand size for kitten's hand right there and i have small hands um you can walk a little bit bigger than that i would probably say i feel like, like front range that's, that's cool though like, yeah. 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 i thought i thought type shit <laughs> well what do you think you now that we stopped here, we're going to stretch this way too. lifer we got a glossy snake this is the 10th snake of the night i think yeah 10th snake of the night like six new species it's crazy i've struck out on these guys so many times in california socal norcal the whole thing finally got one in colorado it's got like a little bit of red to it also just a little bit yeah it's a pretty nice snake. yeah it's a good looking one yeah happy for that had the craziest observation ever here. We got a long nose as we were taking pictures of this glossy. The other Marcus, all the way down there, spotted that long nose somewhere down there in that little trench. So we got my lifer long nose, which I have tried so incredibly hard for in California, Nevada, Oregon, any place you can think of. And finally got one in Colorado. Such a cool looking snake. Take that breath. All right, releasing. This glossy. That way, brother. There he goes. Okay, we're going kind of crazy over here. <laughs> Twelfth snake now, another Tantilla, second one of the night. And it's like 155. Damn. Tell. Use that. Damn All right, like glossy. one minute down the road, another glossy. Snakes are popping for whatever reason at 150. This is insane, dude. 13th snake of the night slash day. You good with them? I feel bad. Like, I know we're rushing, but... All right, so here is another crazy cool species. Super late at night. Got another Texas horn lizard. Second one of the day. Also, this guy is incredibly small. Well, Marcus, we're gonna have to get a merch collab going. I'll be down. Even though I've never done merch, so I don't really know. I want to do it eventually, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm like, maybe we'll take
there. We got a whiptail lizard. See its tail. There he is. Popping out from behind the rock. There he is. These guys are super fast. Looks like he has a regrown tail as well. So more lifers for the trip. We got northern water snakes. Crazy to think that these guys are in like Alabama, Georgia, but they're also here in Colorado too. The musk is just as bad as those banded water snakes and plain bellies um, all the way on the east coast, but super cool looking snakes. It looks like we're gonna find a few more of these guys. All right, right here we got another lifer. This is a prairie race runner. A little bit different than the ones that we find over in Florida. It's got some blue tint to it, a little bit of yellow. And no blue on top either. But a cool looking lizard, also very fast, just like those whiptails from earlier. All right. I wanted to see if he was going to like try to bite your finger there. Oh, I can kind of interesting. Yeah. I've never had a spicy line like that. That's mm -hmm. nice. Can I try to get a picture while he's posed like that? Yeah. I might be would you be able to That's crazy. so as you saw in that last video this little line snake was going after hayden's finger and it is a very small snake so it seems a little weird that it's being that defensive defensive over just a finger but yeah another line snake second snake of the night all right third snake of the night another viridus pretty good looking one just got that line snake a few minutes ago uh, maybe stuff is going to start heating up now though pretty cool and a little praying mantis. And fourth snake of the night, another line snake. So two line snakes and two prairie rattlesnakes. That's crazy. All right, next species for the night, we got another spade foot. What kind of spade foot is this? Plain spade foot. Plain spade foot. This is the third kind of species of spade foot that I've ever seen. All right, fifth snake of the night, we got a tantilla. So we got a tantilla. Two line snakes and two viridus. Nice. New species, couches spade foot. Fourth spade foot species that I've ever seen before. This guy's super green, got some crazy looking eyes there, and he clearly wants to go. So let's let this guy go. Yeah. All right, snake number six on the night, the third line snake already. It's definitely the most uh, popular snake of the night. It's cool if it's anything else. That would be really sweet, but we'll see. Okay, that's kind of sweet. All right, so about five minutes after that line snake, this is the seventh snake of the night, another Tantilla. So this is like number two, pretty sure. We're just gonna put this guy off the road and keep going though. Yeah! Oh my God. Go. <laughs> Dude, was periscoping too. Oh, that is bro. so cool. Oh my goodness. Man, that's a big snake, too. Dude. <laughs> oh, they not like us. What the frick? All right, so here we got a super cool coach whip. Um, we have not seen a western coach whip in a very long time. Probably like two or three years. We've seen a lot of eastern coach whips. But this guy was just sprawled out in the middle of the road periscoping for whatever reason. Um, I've never rode cruise one at night, which is really interesting for these guys because... I tend to think of them as a diurnal species, but really cool um, species. And uh, I think eight of the night, eight different uh, eight different snake of the night. So pretty cool. And the three knives being down here. And sounds like over the trip, only a one or two maybe have been cruised. So now we can get this guy checking off lifers for Marcus and my first of the year for me, as a lot, most of these Colorado finds are. So. Really cool we could get this guy. Definitely one of the more uncommon snakes to cruise, but you know, nothing nothing too crazy. But probably the smallest rat snake I've seen before. Dude. 
All right, and the ninth snake of the night, once again, like five minutes after the last one, is another lifer for me. This is like the 20th lifer of the trip, which is crazy, as they said for a, uh, a first Colorado trip. This is a uh, Great Plains rat snake. Looks very similar to the glossy that we were seeing um, yesterday. Just a little bit different, something in the uh, head patterning there. You can also show him the checkered belly. Checkered belly. Let's see if I can show him here. All right, next snake of the night is one of my big targets of the trip, and the second of the trip is a long nose snake. This one I think is a little bit better than the one from yesterday. It's got some really cool red right there on the head there. Um, tenth snake of the night, and like it's only 12:15. We have so many cool snakes that are yet to have been seen. Um, very happy with this guy, and we might get to 20 snakes. Saying it early, but 20 snakes is possible tonight. All right, and snake number 11, after like a hour, maybe hour and a half hiatus, finally got a glossy snake. Uh, very happy to see this guy, because um, honestly, we are all getting pretty tired, and so finding a snake is gonna be very nice. Um, it's doing the head bob thing that the glossy was doing yesterday too, so kind of weird. Um, I also guessed that it was a glossy coming out of the car, so you could say I'm a Colorado herper now. Marcus. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for me this weekend here in southeastern Colorado. I didn't get to make an outro out in the field. I was living just super present out in the moment. We we're finding so many snakes with so many really cool people. Um, Got to give a lot of thanks to Copark for uh, letting me come out there on their survey looking for snakes, all different kinds of reptiles and amphibians and all that kind of cool stuff. Also, thanks to all the guys, Caden, Hayden, Miles, the other Marcus, we had two Marcuses out there. All those guys, we all had a great time finding a bunch of cool herps. So super thankful for that. Um, now to get into the list of all the different things that we found. So we found a ton of prairie rattlesnakes, lined snakes, a couple of different garter snake species, Kansas glossy snake, plains rat snake, a few different spadefoot toads, one of my biggest targets of the trip, the long nose snake, which I've been trying to find for so long, finally got to find them in Colorado. We found a Western coach whip of horned lizard ever, the Texas horned lizard, and got my long awaited third Pituophis species in the United States. Once again, thanks to everyone that helped me out this past weekend. I had an amazing time and hopefully can get out there next year for next year's Co-Park survey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link everybody's info in the description of this video, so go check out their Instagrams, YouTube, the whole thing. Uh, but if you guys like the video, thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace.